that needs no bells or whistles or fanfare. It's first versus second for top spot. Interesting. Uh, Lewis Jeddah, who's been getting tagged. There we go, Teddy Richards uh, on Franklin. But Jeddah's been getting tagged a little bit. It looks like Jace just a match up with Lewis there. I think. I don't know whether they've set anyone for, for Jeddah or not. I dare, look, I dare say Jordan Lewis won't be letting him get goal side. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Him. And we do believe there'll be a run with in the middle for the Swans. So we'll just try and pick that up, whether that's someone running with uh, Mitchell. Looks like uh, Keith's on Mitchell. Not sure there'll be a run with role. Yeah, Slip from the top four. Hale. Franklin. Again went for the chest mark. Smith. Opens up the angle. Breaks free. Weddle on the ground. Dangerous, but it's there. Gee, it was a fantastic hand Zach Smith, because he's one of the few. Yeah. He's got Matna chasing hard. It's interesting, Franklin tried to take it on the chest yeah, when he did. went for the big one. Have a look at the pace race here. I mean, Matna's quick off the mark, but Isaac Smith's one of the best runners for the Hawks. And again, gee, I'm glad that dribble kick went through. <laughs> if it didn't, it would have been issues. Look for all money, he was never going to be able to touch it, Reed, but he has that outstanding stretch. Hale, Smith. Again, the Hawks get their chance. Can they finish it? Mitchell, Franklin. Franklin will win a free here against Richards. Gee, it didn't look like. No, it looked like he was pushing it there, yeah. holding his ground. That's what he has ahead of him. He's bent it back. It's coming. It's there. But he's back. Yeah, look, technically it's there. It's a hand in the back, and that's the rule they brought in. And Tyler rolls it. It's clean bowls, Franklin. Grundy, interesting handball. Oh, Burgoyne, strong, kicks, goals! No need to tell you, they needed that. A oh, real smooth play. We saw him once down back be aggressive. Have a look at the way he attacks the footy here. He knows he's going to be body contact. He says, I'll ride this, I'm going through, and I don't care who's there. And that's just doing something that a team needs, an individual effort that can be team lifting. Yeah, he's probably been their hardest player today. You're absolutely right. That, not that silky smooth, although just quietly. Just a little lob wedge over the top in the defensive 50. And a clearance now for the Hawks. Lewis to Franklin. Isn't it amazing what happens when you ham handle the ball cleanly in the yeah. middle and you kick quickly forward. Swim on the paint. Bends it back. Strikes it OK. Squeezed it in. Franklin has two. And it's a 19-point game. I think it's also to do is if he's having a quiet day, it gets him into the game chance, as well. Yeah. Jenna's, got, Jenna's got two to beat Did here. you see the body work from Guerra? That was yeah. brilliant. And Burgoyne's been the man. Yeah, he's he, been, he has been the man. You're right, Dwayne. Absolutely. Burgoyne's up to 40. A hush falls over the SCG for the first time tonight. From just outside 50. Squeezes it in. And in the blink of an eye, it's a two-goal game. Well, he's well, clearly been the best for the Hawks yeah. as far as I'm concerned. No, 15. No. Handball misses the target. Shields gets it up. Smith. Little shimmy Shields. Gunston to the pocket. Suckling outside of the boot. Oh. Brilliant! From the top shelf. Well, it's I'm not sure we're going to do that every day of the week, uh, Jase, so outside. The... It would be rope because they had the game pretty well under control, but good good play, stepped inside, and it's a great <laughs> finish. It's a great, great finish, and back to six points, and you're absolutely right, we've got a great contest now, and this is what we came to see. It would have been a free. Malczewski back, O'Keefe. Bump was Richards, got the handball, turnover, white cross, between legs, Shields put his head down, what a hard ball, through Burgoyne, Puopolo, Franklin to tie the scores, breathtaking! Yeah, yeah I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, it's Sydney coming out of defence who are under pressure, yeah. they're making mistakes, they're fumbling. How Shields was able to get a kick in amongst five players there is beyond me. But then now they've turned the Sydney defence around and they're at a loss to match up. Well, you can see why the Hawks are premiership favourites because they've come back in this game so quickly. Second quarter show. 
Stolen back again. Young almost threw that away. Puopolo dragged down Shaw. Slip Leg. tackle. Trip. Free kick. Top of the square. And the Hawks have not led in this game. No. The Swans have led from the outset. Very short run up. To silence. He gives the Hawks the lead for the first time. Yeah, no, you're right there, Joe. So it was just an up. No free. He was buffeted. He wanted the free. Rough head. Slips out a handball. Shields toward goal. It's coming back. Oh, boy. This is a different Hawthorne after quarter time. They lead by seven. What a great kick. He's normally a fantastic kick, but not a great kick. But he was probably stiff not to get a free kick there. And a bit of a fumble. Nice handball. And that's a really good one step round the corner snap of goal from uh, Liam Shields. Terrific. Let that turnover happen up around the 50 metre arc. Rough head and pike down to Gunston. Quick snap goal. Nine point margin in favour of the Hawks. I just think it's going to be you know, what happened in this defensive stoppage because the Swans pride themselves on these situations. But Gee, it was good body it, work from Roughhead to get the ball back yeah, inside. But, and a really good clean hands by Gunston. There wasn't a lot of time and space. I think Hanbury was certainly, whether well, he's a direct opponent, he was the one that was nearest to him. But Richards, really good. Franklin, front spot. Richards wearing him. Franklin to his advantage. Richards still with him. Takes him to the line. Franklin keeps it in. Kick OK, Puopolo, can't shake the tackle, got to be ball! Oh no! Oh no! That can't be the decision. Although he's got one in the eye, but surely it looked like he... John Longmire Long can't Long believe it. if he does the same. To the booze, to level the scores. It's all tied up, 77 apiece. I look forward to a replay of this one because it's brought the crowd alive. Towards the other end of the ground. I reckon you'd like to see the Hawks man up. up yeah, forward. I think so. Ellis, the sub now on. Franklin up three to beat. That's they a march in. He's claimed it. He's got it. Yeah, he got the first touch. Plays that's... on unselfishly. Opens it up for Suckling. Didn't have the reach. Has he got the poise now? Distance won't be a worry. Lays back on it. Heads toward goal and gets it. Scores level again. Angles right. He, he loves to kick around the corner. It was a great mark. He was in range, and it's a great option to share it. Yeah. But he just missed the target. Yeah. And then the ball didn't sit up, and he just kick. weighs it up. He is a finesse kicker. Yeah, he is. That's a beautiful finish. Yeah, great, great finish. He certainly knows his capabilities. It's great inside, and he's able to get outside. Really good handball from Benny McGlynn, and puts the Swans back in front. Great game. Mitchell steals the takeaway though. Short, poor kick. Oh, it's OK. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. It's a brilliant kick. That's like a mess. <laughs> it looked like he didn't quite catch it properly off the boot. I'll tell you, that was. Don't know that he's been in control of where the ball is going, Lance Franklin, with his kick no. tonight. He's got three. He drives it along. That was never in doubt. Fourth on by a point. Centre clearance is critical, Jace. Really yeah. critical. Got to win the stoppage and then try and find a way through all the numbers. From the ball up, two minutes from time. The Swans right now, two minutes from top spot. Hawks are not cooked yet. Hodge, their superstar. Short, Franklin. No! Burgoyne. Over his head to Burgoyne. Well, if you ever wanted someone to have the kick, this is the bloke. I know this is sent the probability of all players on this ground from this spot. Pressure is on him. The clock starts to roll now. Takes his time. Top spot could be Hawthorne's if he nails it. And he nails it. Uh, now, now do we see the flip side? Do Hawthorne get numbers? Well, they have to. They have to, but they're so short here. And here it is, Luke Hodge, just great composure. Not a great kick, but... Fantastic effort by Burgoyne to run forward. You have to take a bit of a punt, but it's the centre bounce that's absolutely critical now. Whoever's going to win this centre bounce. Yeah, now you're right. Now it's up to the man up, the Hawks now. You've got Malcheski by himself on the other side of the ground over there. If they can get it out to him, he's free. Also got Roughhead behind the footy now. Saul, a goal could seal it. He looks up and pumps it. It's long, it's strong, it's there! Hawks by seven! 
Well, that's just not something we expected. Well, kind of of he's, he's broken away. We yeah. haven't seen many of the clearance and, more importantly, a kick as he's ever going to have. Now that's two in a row, two centre clearances that have cost the Swans. First one goes out to Hodge, Hodge to Burgoyne goal. Second one, you know, great finish, but saw a fantastic finish. They've come from 38 points down to win by seven. Yeah, uh, Dwayne, you mentioned that. They were 38 points down and not looking like it. It was a, a really good comeback. Full credit to the Hawks. The Swans certainly got off to a flyer and 38 points up. Hawthorne came back. They stiffened themselves up. Burgoyne, you mentioned, Jace, was one of the best. He had 26 and three goals. He had a super game. But some of the other guys, Sewell really...